This challenge is called Python if else. We're going to learn about conditional statements in Python. And for this, we're going to solve this simple task. So given an integer n, which is this one here, we need to perform the following conditional actions. So the first one is to verify if n is an odd number, then we print the string weird. If n is an even number and is in the inclusive range of two and five, then we have to print not weird. We'll print the same thing if n is an even number and greater than 20, and we'll print weird again if n is an even number and it's within the inclusive range of six and 20. This is how I'm solving this challenge because it's a beginner challenge. So we don't need to try and optimize the code too much. I'm rather focusing on making it readable and easily comprehensible. So here I have a comment in Python to write comments. You use the hash symbol and I've written my solution because the code below is my solution. What is above is their own code. So first I have this variable in Python. You don't use data types and so on. You don't need to do that. I have this variable is odd and I want to store zero or one in this variable. So if I use the modulo operator, which you've seen in other languages like C, C++ and JavaScript, and I say n divided by two with the modulo operator, I'm going to get the remainder. If the remainder is one, then this is going to hold the value of one, which is equal to true. If this is an even number, meaning it returns zero, then is odd is going to store the value zero meaning that it's going to be false. In other words, it's not odd, so it's even. I'm dealing with my other conditions using three variables. Condition two is this one here. If n is even, meaning this here was not one, so I'm using the not keyword to say that this is an even number. And this matters because this is a condition, so it needs to evaluate to true because I'm using the end keyword. So if this here is zero, then I negate it with the not keyword. So this deals with the parity of the number and I have the end operator. So in other languages, you see that we use double ampersand. In Python, you type end like the normal English word. And then I have n again. So this here is the second part of my condition and I'm checking if it's within the range of two and five. Technically in Python, if you look at the range keyword, it does not include the end. So this here should actually be six because the end is excluded. So if n is within the range of two and five, and it's also an even number, then this condition is true. Now the third condition here, if n is an even number, so the same thing here, and it's within the inclusive range of six and 20. So I have six to 21 because the end is not included. So if both these conditions are true, then condition three is going to be true. And finally, if n is even, so it's this here, and is greater than 20, so this is the second part of the condition. If both conditions are true, then condition four is going to be true. Now we need to decide when to print weird and not weird. We'll print weird if condition one, which is is odd in my case, this one here, if this is true or the third condition is true. So condition three. So I can say here, if is odd, you don't need parentheses to evaluate the condition. So I say, if is odd is true or condition three is true, then I'm going to print weird. Notice that I'm using the old keyword instead of double vertical bars, like in other languages. Again, I'm not using any semicolon anywhere in my code because in Python, what matters is the indenting. This is indented, meaning that this is part of the if condition here, is the implementation for that if condition. Otherwise, so this is an else if statement, but in Python, you write it elif. So I'm saying otherwise, if condition two or condition four is true, then I'm going to print not weird. And that's the end of my code here. So I can run it. We've passed the two sample test cases. And now we can submit this code and we're done. So that was it for Python if else or conditional statements in Python. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and I'll catch you next time.